rolling, 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 rolling. From Washington, D.C., Roland Martin, good morning. Charles, oh God, good morning. Let me first shout out the uh, Prince Hall Masons of Washington, D.C. Uh, had a great time on Saturday. I uh, completed the process, becoming 32nd degree Mason. So, I, um, uh, so well, shout out to all uh, the men across the uh, world, of course, uh, who do a great job with the Masons. So, uh, shout, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, God, have they caught? Not to waste my time. I ain't going to tell you that. So, anyway. It's going to be a busy week. Busy week time, of course. I'm going to be in Houston uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, ten Democrats running for president will be on the campus of Texas Southern University uh, for the uh, Democratic presidential debate. Joining us right now is the president of Texas Southern University, uh, Kappa Man himself, Doctor Austin Lane. <laughs> hey, Dr. there Man, you go, you Roland. Hey, I'm I'm doing good, sir. How are you doing this morning? Uh, I, I'm doing great. Obviously, uh, it is a big week uh, for you and all the folks that. My hometown, uh, TSU, Jackie's High School, my own model, right across the street. JY. And so, uh, uh, y'all, folks, for ABC, ABC, of course, ABC will broadcast the debate. And so, uh, just talk about uh, how is TSU preparing uh, for all the folks coming down uh, for this national focus? Well, I'll tell you what, we have uh, ac- actually been at this for quite some time. If, if you know, a few months back, we actually hosted She the People. And that was really our warm-up, where we had all of the uh, Democratic uh, candidates come to campus and and, uh, have their uh, uh, thoughts and and ideas pushed out there to all of our students and folks in our community. And so uh, we're excited. Uh, We're ready. The campus was transformed. ABC basically came in and took it over. And so uh, when you get back to campus, Roland, I know you you, uh, served as our speaker a a couple of months back. But uh, you will see a totally transformed HPNE Center, and uh, we're just excited to, to be able to host. Obviously, uh, you also hopeful that uh, issues uh, pertain to HBCU and your students uh, will also come in the debate. Uh, I'm sure you have uh, uh, mentioned that a couple of times to the folks at ABC to be sure that that is brought up. You, you know, that was part of our deal in, in the leasing agreement is that not only would our students be able to serve as interns for ABC, so we have about 30 or 40 interns. Uh, oh, that's students great. From our, oh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a great deal, Tom, with our uh, communications program. And so uh, they're excited about working hand-in-hand with those uh, folks at ABC. Uh, but, but really, it gives our students a chance in our political science uh, area, a School of Public Affairs, to be able to really address some of the issues that impact uh, not only uh, HBCUs, but higher education in general. So we're, we're really well, excited about the participation. Well, I can tell you, I talked to some of the folks at ABC, and they also excited about that uh, partnership with the internships. I know uh, the ABC affiliate, KTRK, will also be using some of the folks. Uh, and then I, be, I of course, uh, how that's presented for out with doing my show. So I'll be also using uh, some mm-hmm. TSU students working on my show, Roller Martin Unfiltered, when I'm broadcasting Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, so, uh, again, really important. And, and not only, of course, uh, you talk about what ABC is doing there, uh, but, again, the candidates, uh, I am hopeful uh, that, the, that the candidates will speak to, uh, of course, the importance of HBCUs, education, uh, and those issues, and that uh, it is front and center when they debate on Thursday night. You know, very, very timely. You know, this week we're here at the National Historically Black College and Universities Week. It's this conference here this week, the National Conference, and much of what we're talking about is our competitiveness in, in regards to uh, being able to pull down some of these grants and some of the research dollars here out of some of the departments in D.C. But you, you can hear the candidates talking now about really the importance of HBCUs. I'm, I'm, I'm glad they're talking about that, but we want that to translate into uh, dollars. You know, we want the, that to help with our infrastructure, with our research uh, capabilities. We really want uh, them to be uh, real serious about helping our institutions. And so uh, those questions, uh, we were allowed, our students were allowed to submit some questions that really point directly to some of the issues that are out there today. And so uh, they're going to get firsthand knowledge to, or at least firsthand uh, responses back from 
uh, those candidates. And, and uh, again, we're just excited about them being able to experience that. Dr. Austin Lane, have you had an opportunity to speak to any of the candidates about their stance? I mean, some of them obviously are, are focusing on HBCUs like Senator Harris and Senator Warren and, and, and what have you. But have you had an opportunity to, to seek out any of them and, and talk to them about their plans for HBCUs? You know what? Uh, I have with one that is tied to our state. Uh, and that would be uh, uh, Beto. Yes. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I've, I've had that opportunity. You know, being in Texas, especially at a state university, we have to be really nonpartisan. So a lot of what I do in, in Texas is just, just to make sure the issues at least get uh, addressed out in the open with our students and, and with folks who obviously are going to be making some big decisions in terms of how they vote. But uh, I have not personally, except with, with one of the candidates, and so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to be able to, to meet them up close and personal during this particular uh, event, and a lot of that will be obviously behind the behind the scenes. But uh, looking forward to talking with them and hearing their ideas and asking a few questions of my own off off the mic, not in the middle of the ceremony. Of but, course, uh, really. Believe I got it. And I gotta ask you: Will the Ocean of Soul have a role <laughs> on Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, the ocean is is everywhere, and man, they ought to be tired. Uh, they, they've been performing a lot over the last uh, couple of months, but. You know, they, they'll probably be on the Tiger Walk waiting for you, Roland. They may do a special, <laughs> special uh, ceremony for you, you know, coming back home. We'll probably make that happen for you, brother. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Well, I'm looking forward uh, to TSU and getting the national attention this week. Democrat debate Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, ABC. Dr. Austin Lane, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Th- thank you so much, Roland. Tom, appreciate y'all. You got it, man. All right. All right.